Hello, Jill and Bob. I'm Elias. Welcome to Lanzarote and to the Canary Islands. Just a little information about Canarian Islands. It doesn't mean anything about the Canarian birds, okay? It's not related to this. But if you go back to the Roman uh, time, okay, when the Romans arrived on Gran Canaria Island, they saw some massive dogs over there, mastiff type. And uh, dog in Latin is called can, C-A-N, and big gran, G-R-A-N. Did you know there's wine in the Canary Islands? Well, check this out. They grow their vineyards much differently than we do. One vine in a hole surrounded by a little wall to protect it. And guess what? There are no lakes or natural water on these islands. The water from the vines comes from humidity that slowly works its way into the lava rock and feeds the vines. Now, I'd like to take one of those big wine vessels home, but I think we'll pass on the wine. Bueno, esta es la piedra de la olivina, sale del volcán, evidentemente cuando erupciona el volcán eh, salen las pompas volcánicas que surge eh, por silicatos de magnesio y hierro se forma. La lava es basalto y con ella fabricamos todas estas joyas que ustedes ven aquí, elaboradas con olivina, lava y con la otra piedra del volcán que es la obsidiana, que es la piedra del volcán de Tenerife. Muchas gracias. Lanzarote es... Uh, an eruption line, it's hotspot volcanism, exactly like Hawaii. We're almost like twin on the, the way the volcanic activity works. It's thousands and thousands of kilometers apart, but still they, they consider this twin uh, archipelagos. So hotspot is a chimney that goes, that comes from the center of the uh, or earth, so the magma uh, bit in the middle. And there is thousands of them chimneys. That's the natural wave uh, of the earth to depressurize. Okay, if not, it would have exploded long time ago. So these chimneys, they come randomly on the ocean floor surface. Okay, and each time there is a crack that allows this chimney to let the magma come out. It will create an underwater volcano, mountain, which will grow, 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 and eventually pass the sea level and form an island, okay? So, for example, Tenerife, we spoke about 3,790 meters above the sea level, but under the sea level, it's 4,000 meters of mountain still, okay? So it's almost eight kilometers of volcano. It's the third biggest volcano of the planet. What you got there, Bob? Well, I got these, uh rocks from really just the, just a little bit under the surface and they're about 70 degrees celsius which is without the conversion hotter than hell so <laughs> there you go this is really fascinating <laughs> cooked by the heat in the ground. Amazing. Now this is very unusual, but uh, really quite an adventure. This is a real camel. This is not a merry-go-round. <laughs> There's, I don't know, a hundred camel here? At least. Last time we were on a camel, uh, we barely knew each other. We were both in Morocco. And Morocco's like just right over there. Uh, 100 miles, not even 100 miles. Oh, 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 oh. oh and they're going up. We're going to be going up. Here we go. Camel time.
How you doing, Bob? I'm, in, I'm enjoying the uh, camel ride. The downhill part, not as much. <laughs> Great, great time. Thank you, Cammy. Appreciate the ride. <laughs>